Hey everyone, it's Dave for Gamers on Games, and we're doing another one of these delightful, delightful episodes discussing uh, this. So, an individual wrote, Today is Tuesday, September 5th, and Kyle Brink can't leave soon enough. And this is in regards to a statement that Kyle Brink made during the whole OGL uh, debacle. And uh, the quote goes like this. There's been mistakes made in years past where people assume that D&D players were all, you know, white dudes in a basement. Which has been a faulty assumption for a lot of years and gets more and more false every day. And so in my viewpoint, honestly, guys like me can't leave soon enough for this hobby. Now, clumsy speech? Yes. Clumsy word usage? Also, very much yes. But what was the intent? One, he's trying to say that it is no longer a white male dominated hobby that we are expanding. Not only is was the coast expanding, but many other game companies are as well. They're definitely making an effort to expand the acceptance of people outside of cis, het, white, male. And that was what he was getting at. And what he's saying is, guys like me can't leave soon enough. Basically, he's saying that people who are still thinking in terms of cis het white males are the demographic they are the target audience need to get out you know that's what he was trying to get at well as you can expect if we're covering on here this conversation is about to go as well as you'd expect and it goes a whole lot like this i replied with the game is becoming more openly inclusive and his clumsy statement is meant to reflect that where's the problem i don't know feels like a pretty good statement to me if by more openly inclusive, you mean catering to the woke tards and shunning 90% of your customer base, then yeah, I agree with you. What the hell are you talking about? It's not cake. Okay? Can we, can we just establish that opening up a hobby to a wider audience, which means a larger customer base, which means more income a greater profit share is what a company should be doing. That's not, this is economics 101 is what this really is. There's no other way to put this. You want to get more money and you want to do it by having a wider base. You are a safer, more established company. If you have a larger potential income than you do if you're getting a lot of money from a very select few. If I'm getting, we'll say for whatever reason, my budget is $1,000. If I'm getting $1,000 from one or two people, however you want to split that up, and I lose one of those two people, what kind of trouble am I in? Kind of a lot, right? There goes my whole, there goes my whole income stream. Now, if I'm getting, if my budget is a thousand dollars, but it's spread over a hundred people, well, that's like 10 bucks a piece, right? You know, just splitting evenly. Okay. So hundred people, 10 bucks a pop. I lose one or two. All right. I'm not making my thousand anymore, but instead of being out almost my entire budget or actually my entire budget, I'm just down 20 bucks. I could probably make that up, right? Lose 10 bucks, lose 20 bucks. I could still probably make that up. Gain new customers, make a new product, reinvent the old product, uh, support the old product, whatever the case is. Hell, go to a convention and try and show things off. Give review copies out to uh, people who have influence. You see where I'm going with this? That is basic economics. So the other thing with it not being cake, just because I'm saying, hey, I want more of a diverse base to come in, doesn't mean I'm taking anything away from you. It's not finite. And I don't understand why it is constantly treated that way. 
All right, after that, my response was, okay, explain how they're shunning 90% of their base. What is the demographic of the 90% shun base? And there was no response. This is constant. When you when you confront them on wh- where are you where are you getting this? Show, you know, show me the evidence. You know, what is the demographic that is being shunned? Where I, you never get anything, you never get anything usable. So here you go. We're discussing the same topic again, just a new format. I, I'm we're going to keep hammering on this until people finally get it. But it is, it is what it is. All right, y'all. Thank you for your time, and we'll see you guys next episode. Dave out.